Hi there folks, James here once again, very warm welcome to you all and uh, you join me here again in the shed for another VR and this is uh, one set originally by um, Mike at Briar Blues and passed on to me by lovely Stephen, the cobbler to the Shire. Um, and this is to discuss three pipes. Um, again, a, an interesting VR to consider and um, a little tricky, um, but nonetheless, uh, we shall give it a go. And so, firstly, my best smoking pipe. And um, wasn't too difficult to decide. Um, but I'll pick out this lovely beastie here, which is uh, my um, Black Mar Briar. Um, and uh, this smokes St. Bruno exceptionally well and always has done. Um, had this pipe for a number of years now. And um, yeah, right from the get-go it was tremendous um, and uh, continues to deliver delicious tasty smokes um, it's a lovely comfortable pipe it has a rather rather tall deep bowl um, but uh, yes I'm uh, obviously now familiar with uh, the best way to pack it and uh, yeah it consistently smokes really lovely um, get a lovely flavour um, but uh, I would hasten to add that um, indeed all of my Blake Marbrys share this um, um, you know this ability to be uh, great smokers um, but that one in particular I smoke probably most regularly um, and I would consider is, you know, you couldn't ask much more of it. So simple as that, really. Um, so um, a pipe that I reach for most often. Well, aside from that Blakemire, um, it would probably have to be what I'm smoking now, which is this lovely little um, Bewley. Um, and you'll most often see me out and about with this pipe indeed I think the past uh, few videos I've done I've been smoking this pipe and uh, um, it's um, of late I've sort of enjoyed it um, at home as well just as much um, and this is most commonly um, uh, filled with lovely uh, condor and uh, yeah it's uh, a splendid little pipe uh, has a very slender slender stem and uh, a fairly generously thick bowl for the size pipe it is um, and this is part of the um, lightweight series of pipes that Bewley did and uh, I do have uh, one other which is an even smaller um, bowl actually and uh, it has um, one of those funny um, dental stems which uh, it's not too bad it get, takes a bit of getting used to but that's that's a delightful little pipe um, and the briar is is you know it's pretty good quality and there's some you know it's nice sort of flame grain in, in there and um, yeah it's um, it's seen a bit of action this was one that uh, I um, sort of rescued from a, a selection that I bought, I bought cheap um, years ago and it as quite commonly happens it was sort of a diamond in the rough um, and uh, once cleaned up um, you know I found it to be uh, 
just uh, lovely. So um, it was a real, real pleasing find, and uh, of late I have been going to it very, very often. So uh, that qualifies rather nicely for for that uh, criteria. So uh, thirdly. Um, A, um, a pipe that impresses one. Um, oh no, sorry, I tell you, um, a pipe that is surprising to one. Um, well, my take on this is that um, you know it's um, surprised me in a number of ways. And the piping question is my first pipe, which I've shown you a couple of times before. It's this little, uh, tiny little Prince nipper pipe with some uh, reasonably nice bits of grain on there. Um, and say so it's been around a bit, the stem is well chewed up. Um, but I find it surprising because being my first pipe it went through an awful lot of uh, period of, of sort of um, I suppose you could say misuse um, not knowing really what I was doing it had uh, countless bowls of aromatic tobacco burnt through it at you know terribly high degrees of heat and it surprises me greatly that I didn't burn it out because it's not a massive pipe as you can see um, but it remains in one piece it's solid um, I've resurrected it a little bit over the last few years and um, it's been again surprisingly nice to smoke and surprisingly interesting to smoke because a bowl of that size if you're careful gives you maybe half an hour to 30 minutes but you have to smoke it in a way that is conducive to its properties as a pipe and it, um, it's surprising if you make those appropriate adjustments um, it performs surprisingly well and I'm so pleased as it is my first pipe it still functions um, and it still gives me that sort of uh, delight that it first did um, and of course it did start me along the road um, with pipe smoking so yeah it's been a pleasant surprise and um, I think uh, yeah that, that fits the bill rather nicely um, various ways of looking at this I suppose but um, yeah I suppose when you get your first pipe it's very easy to sort of uh, move on quickly to other other pipes which we've all done I'm sure um, but um, lovely to come back to that and, and actually A smoke it properly and B get good results um, so as I say um, and also surprising um, that once again uh, it uh, it kind of demands a certain way of smoking um, and um, as I say it was interesting to almost get to know it again and give it a, a better chance really so yeah I'm amazed it survived um, it is battered um, but uh, it's um, a loyal companion as are many of uh, my pipes and uh, yeah I'm pleased to uh, very pleased to still have it and enjoy it so there we are three of my pipes um, so next up three uh, nominees um, to continue this VR um, and firstly um, I'd be delighted to see a response from Gary who is um, old and in the way. Um, lovely chap, um, not been on here too long but um, 
very interesting. Uh, recently did a lovely little presentation on falcon pipes, uh, which I really enjoyed. Um, so check him out. Um, so that's Gary and his olden in the way, uh, rather a rather sort of harsh um, name, but quite amusing. So um, yeah, um, next up. Um, now I hope this won't present too many problems, but um, this gentleman may may just about be able to cover the three pipe situation. Uh, this is none other than pipe tree, Chris. Um, so yeah, I'd be uh, again delighted to see what choices you make for this little uh, situation. And um, again, I hope it doesn't present too many problems because um, you know it's uh, hopefully you'll have enough to to cover what we need here. So um, and thirdly. Um, Last but not by no means least, um, lovely Ed, Grandpa Cavendish. Um, he reappeared um, recently again, and it was lovely to see him. And again, it would be great to uh, see what you make of this, Ed. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, show us um, three of your pipes. So there we have it. Um, I shan't keep you much longer. Um, I should like to say thanks very much for viewing and subscribing. Um, and uh, until next time, um, cheerio.